Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. Happy Labor Day to everyone. I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Please let me know if you guys can hear me because I'm trying out this new mic and I want to make sure that you guys can hear me and that there isn't an echo. But hey to everyone here, Miss Cheryl H. Thank you so much for being the first one here or at least the first one to greet me. Welcome in. Hey, Miss Sandra. Hey, Greg. Hey, Karen. Y'all, I've done something that I have not done in a long time. And that is say hey to everybody who is here at the very beginning. So, hey, everybody. Welcome in. I just hopped on because, one, I miss y'all. And also, um, I'm going to make a bling birthday shirt for Katrina. Her birthday is this weekend. And the first time I saw her, she was like, you make a shirt for everybody, but you ain't make my shirt yet. So I'm going to make her a birthday shirt um, to send to her. But I wanted to come on because I miss y'all. And... If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to be making a bling shirt, and we're also going to be talking about the buy-in because while I've been missing in action, the buy-in has started. And y'all know that I got to talk to y'all about the rhinestone buy-in, and we're going to be using stones from the baby's booty, of course. Now, if you say that the buy-in, you're just not ready right now to invest in the buy-in because it is an investment. If you're not ready to invest in the buy-in yet, she does have a buy now site and both sites are listed in the description below. And you can go ahead and purchase rhinestones that she has in stock at retail cost. But the benefit of the buy-in is that we kind of get it at wholesale, which is a lot cheaper than the rate of buying it retail. And the quality of the stones is amazing. So I went ahead and cut this Virgo template out. I'm not a Virgo, but I do have two cents now. So I'm making a Virgo also, this is a lot, this is not really a structured tutorial. I will go over what I'm using, how I'm getting this done, and that sort of thing. But I like to talk, and I've been missing for like a week, so I'm gonna be real chatty today with y'all. So, if this is your first time here and you don't really like a lot of the conversing, um, please look at my other videos. I do have videos that are actual tutorial videos, more structured and a lot shorter and less chatty. But for today, that's what we got to say. But hey, y'all, I'm so excited to be here with y'all. I have missed you guys here. Let's see who else is here. I did get a chance to speak to a few of y'all who is here at the very beginning. So I'm gonna go through and try to speak to a few more of you guys. And then I'm gonna head over to our template. We're going to start brushing. I already have uh, the colors that we're going to be using today. So I think uh, we're gonna make it real icy for, for Katrina. She's real black. So we're gonna make it real icy. Alibaba is hosting and they invited me to come out there 
not turn that down. Like I had to go definitely work going um, just for business, basics, networking, and that sort of thing. I'm going to try to blog. None of, none of my bloggy friends that I know are going. And so usually I just, I'm like, you know what, the people are going to get the information because they're going to blog. So I'm going to have to intentionally blog um, this event so you guys can see what it's about. And it's the first one that they're having here. If they host another one, you guys will at least get a chance to see like what it's about and if it's something worth going to for you in your business. So we're gonna see. Hopefully I'll remember. I never remember to pull out my camera. Y'all are very camera shy. Hey Lashunda, welcome in. Hey Jesse, welcome. Hey Dale, I'm gonna spend a little extra time because I miss y'all. I'm gonna spend a little extra time because tell me everything. Hey. Hey Deborah. Hey Sam over in the UK. Welcome in. Oh yeah, hey for you Welcome in. And so I, I got a few of uh, a few emails about the storm. And if I was okay, I was actually super sick. Um, but the storm did not hit my area. I live in South Florida. So I live in South Florida. And so it did not affect me. We did have a lot of rain, but we did have a lot of rain on Wednesday. That's a lot, a lot. But the storm did not affect me. Um, I did get a few people who were worried about me. I have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you so much. It was a blessing just to be caught. So thank you so much. Hey, Deborah Ferguson. Welcome in. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Tina. Oh, do I still sound, sound muscled? Just, you know why? Because <laughs> I'll put the mic down here because I didn't want it like up here. Like I'm trying to do this YouTube thing correctly, but I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. Tell me if I still sound muscled. Oh, I'm just gonna put it here on my little show. Hopefully, let me know if you guys start hearing something weird. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, Valerie, Morgan. Hey, Elena. Hey, girl. Thank you. Hey, Anita. Hey, Miss Gail. I'm happy to be here and happy to see all of you guys here. I'm probably going to do a bling class in about two weeks. Even I are going to do a, an advanced class. The bling class I'm going to do is a beginner's uh, design class. Eve and I are going to do the advanced class. And I'm trying to plan a a zoom for us like originally i wanted to do a zoom this past weekend but yeah it was in no shape for that um and i know this weekend um i'm not going to be able to do it unless i did something on sunday we did like a super super informal thing on sunday i could do that with y'all let me know how you guys feel about something super duper informal um uh, maybe some type of some type of zoom, not a lie. Some type of zoom. But hey, Darika. Hey, Tianda. Hey, Barb. Thank you. Hey, Patrice. Welcome in. But hey, everybody. All right, y'all probably like girl. Hurry up and get to the point. Hey, Miss Sonia. <laughs> hey, Creatively Customs. Welcome in. All right, y'all. I'm scrolling down because I know y'all tired and I'm behind, but let me see if and it didn't help. It's better now. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me make sure. Hey, Crafty Leo. Oh, y'all. So like 10 months ago, Crafty Leo, how long ago was it? So I was on Crafty Leo's uh, First of all, did anybody see Crafty Leo's live? Like she had a live, but it was like a collaborative live with maybe about six other people on there yesterday. And one of my favorite dishes, it's something that I can actually make really, really well, is shrimp and grits. I love shrimp and grits. 
and Crafty Leo, she was live with a group of her YouTube friends having like a, I don't even think it was like a challenge or cook off. Like they were just cooking together on live and everyone's dish was, was shrimp and grits and it looked absolutely amazing. Oh, I was so hungry after that. If I was feeling well, I probably would have headed to the store or maybe Instacarted some shrimp and grits and made me some shrimp and grits because I don't keep a lot of grocery in the house, yo. Hold on. So, yeah, I would have definitely either probably Instacarted some shrimp and grits. I just look like I keep a lot of grocery in my house, but I really don't keep a lot of grocery in my house. And I that looks so, so good. But, y'all, I won. I won something. And when I won, I was so excited. I really did not even care what it was I won, but I actually won something. and. I was willing to give it away, but she sent it to me. And so I won, like, I think this was, this is sublimation. So I won these cute little bags on her live. And I also won me a bling shirt, y'all. So this is a bling shirt that I made, that I won. Crafty Leo made this in her live. Crafty Leo, how long ago was that? Was that like a few months ago? And so I'm going through. Since I I was home a little bit last week, y'all, I like to work. I like to keep busy. So I was able to go into work on Thursday and Friday, but I didn't have contact with anyone because my class is accessed through a door outside of the school. I didn't have to go into school. So I still went to work on Thursday and Friday and worked as much as I could because I knew I was going to be out this week. And my kids still need to have some type of structure in their lives. And like being out and gone for two weeks, just it would not just put me in a bad place, but my kids, because their teachers need to know their accommodations and what they need to be providing them in school. And so I couldn't really like I didn't want to put that off on anybody else. So as I felt OK, I did go in to get that done. So that you know they could be prepared but i had time to like go through all of my packages and open up some stuff that i hadn't opened up and y'all look at this look 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 at that it's even more beautiful so i don't know if you guys have ever like realized like what we show you on screen it's it looks good on screen but in person it looks amazing like it's just even more fantastic in person so look at that so shout out to crafty leo thank you for allowing me to win and keep this i did feel bad about winning at first but y'all i never win anything and so i was so excited about about winning this and i really appreciate i really appreciate it so yeah, girl, thank you. All right, so let me scroll on down a little bit more. I'm gonna try not to be on for too long. <laughs> it seemed like 10 months. Yeah, I tried to get them for FedEx, me some shrimp and grits, Dorica, girl. Hey, she looks cushion very Dorica, girl, that food looks so good. It was so good. All right, guys. So, hey, Kevin, and anybody that I missed, hey, Don, anybody that I missed, hey, y'all, I'm about to switch over to the table. We cut out our template. If you guys can't hear me, please, or if it's like something weird, let me know. I usually don't use an, uh, an external mic, um, but I'm trying to do a little bit better with my life. Y'all deserve me to do a little bit better with my life and stuff. So, Please, please. Yes, Sheila. I will get a little bit of time to recover. So on Wednesday, I'm leaving for um, Vegas for the Co-Create Conference. I'm excited about that. So we cut this out with our 
Caesar Romeo. And it cut out really, really good. So I saved this so that you guys could see how it cut out. I probably had to manually uh, take out about 10. Yeah, you see where there's like extra holes there. I probably had to manually take out about 10 clock dots, but it wasn't anything major. It peeled beautifully. And the settings that I used, I wrote it on the back. Um, I used a speed of 13 and a force of 44, but usually I'll use a force of um, a force of 46 for this one. But usually, lately, I've been using a force of 44, and this is the new block. Okay, and so this is an SS10 design. The SS6, I'm still playing around with it. Sometimes I get it good, sometimes I don't. Um, but for the most part, the SS10, I've had success with this, with these particular settings. And the speed of 13, it cuts it really, really quickly, which is almost the same as my uh, StarCraft Solo. Almost the same, almost the same. I know it's the, it's the, I don't know why. I, I, I think it's the size, Zerika, of the, the holes that really, like, it, I don't know if it's the lip. I don't know what it is, but the pressure is, is definitely different. So the most success that I've got, like, I don't use the same pressure for, um, the SS6 and the SS10 designs, I don't. Now, what I forgot to tell you guys is that with the Solo, I did not use a mat for this. So I put this through without a cutting mat, okay? And those holes, look how close those holes are, y'all. Those holes are, or those circles are super duper close, okay? Super duper close. Mare Bear, hey, Mare Bear. I was going to call you and see if you wanted to hang out, but I was like, you know what? Let me leave her alone today. Let me not bother her today. Hey, Jamie and Sis Marcel, anybody that came in that I missed, I'm sorry. But Don said that her SS6 comes out perfect. Don, do you change up your, um, do you change up your, your force or pressure? And which machine are you using? Because I know you have tons of machines. You got six months to get. <laughs> Sheila, I'm actually going to try to get some done. I've had a lot of my cancer friends kind of putting a little bit of pressure on me about, you know, completely skipping their birthday month. But I'm sorry. All right. So we're going to use. So for today, we're using. Uh, black diamond. I like to use black diamond or jet hematite when I'm doing like this uh, shadow 3D layer, but you can use whatever color you want. I like to use black diamond. I forgot to mention, I think I did. The rhinestone buying is going on now in case you guys are interested. Links to everything is listed below in the description. If you're catching the replay, links to the buy in is in the description below. So somebody tell me, when is the buy-in ending? Is it going to be ending on Sunday or are we getting it a little bit longer? I remember Eve, it's like it's longer this time. <laughs> Thank you, Mirror Bear. <laughs> not the neighbors do they want to start crafting tell them you know they can craft with us if they like the more the merrier or the more the craftier all right y'all let's see all right so we're just going to brush this in september 10th thank you ladies <laughs> Miss Sonya, don't act like that. Don't don't treat me like that. Don't do that. But I am actually working on. I think I I, I finished the the um scatter of the cancer symbol. 
And I also finished that matching audacity design, but I don't think I've listed it yet. Well, we will see, we will see. And she has it. Okay, so she listed according to the list, she has it ends on the eighth. All right, so how how many days is that? Is that is that sun Saturday Sunday, right? I don't know. So whatever it is, y'all better get ready. Don't forget. Y'all, my auntie sent me a whole list of sure ideas that she wants for Christmas while I was sick. I should screenshot it and post it in a group so y'all could see just what I have to deal with. And then she has, she wants a different saying on each shirt. So we're supposed, I don't know if you guys heard before, but we're supposed to go see Color Purple on Christmas. And she wants everybody's shirt to have a different quote from the movie on the back. I'm like, girl, you are not well. You are not well if you think that I'm about to do that. Not well at all. And she's very serious about it. And I'm very serious. <laughs> so the next client, y'all, can you guys believe that we're all the way, like we're like it's almost October. I cannot believe that. I can still remember us blinking together on New Year's. New Year's, was that New Year's Eve? I decided to make a New Year's Day shirt. And I came on late, late, late night to bling with y'all. I cannot believe that. Who is it? Did the girl get locked out of the house? Hold on, guys. Hold on a second. Sorry guys, Taylor locked herself out of the house. Like she literally just walked out of the house and locked herself out. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe that we're already in October. Sweet orange pumpkin. Well, happy early birthday, Anita. And hey, Kiana. <laughs> hey, 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 y'all. All right. Gotta move this. So what are you guys working on? What have you guys been up to? It feels like I've been gone for a long time. Anything exciting happening? Hey, Nani's journey. Hey, creating with Tuck. <laughs> My auntie better get her life together, Jerika. That's what she better do. It's like when you talk, but she doesn't even hear anything that I say, honestly. Especially if I say no, she does not hear that. It's almost like I didn't even say it. She's a persistent one. She is. All right, so I'm going to bring up my other, my big blush. This is done. Awesome, Annette. What kind of shirt did you bling? You just said like a cruise. Did you design it? You did design it. Okay. So, y'all, so I have to 
upload the video of the new it's not really new so my dtf printer i have the pro um dtf printer it's a 13 inch wide printer and i've had it now for maybe about three months but i hadn't done a i unboxed it i recorded the unboxing but i kind of wanted to learn it a little bit more and see how i like it and i absolutely love it love it so much easier you can access the print head a lot easier with it so i cannot wait to upload it so you guys can see it in action but totally a lot easier than a the 8550 Every printer so far has been a lot easier than the 8550. And um, the L1800 is not hard either, but it's slow. This printer is a dual head and it's a lot quicker than the L1800. And then the shaker, I could do so many other things like while the shaker is working. So it's the shaker and the, the oven, the curing oven is attached. So it literally goes down, goes through the shaker, the um, adhesive is sprinkled on top. As it's going through, there's um, it's attached to a roller at the end. It is literally being rolled through and then it's rolling through the oven and it's curing as it goes through. Oh, y'all, talk about just, more time on my hands like I don't have to sit there and after prints rush to, to sprinkle the powder on it and then put it in the curing oven and like I don't have to do any of that anymore even though I still have my curing ovens in the L1800 um for smaller projects I could do that but for when I have like larger orders and I just need to get those prints printed out oh it makes a big deal make a big 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 difference my glass video to see on the project we'll be listening to you on the phone I'm going to blink tonight awesome miss cheryl h thank you so much for being here i'm gonna go ahead and get our um transfer mask let's hope this transfer mask is good y'all i haven't even been able to bling can y'all believe that i haven't even been able to bling check the oh Thank you, Jesse. Did I get it out? I might have gotten it out, Jesse. Thank you. I'm probably behind. I want to check, chat ask what the font for this design was. Um, it might be Space Story. For this one, it might be Space Story, but I'm going to double check. Can somebody remind me to check? Um, to check just to make sure what the font actually is but it might be space story i don't remember i don't remember i'm gonna get all of this on here oh no i bubble gum came in six and ten Oh, I think it comes in both. I think bubblegum comes in both of the artistry. All right. All right, let's see. All right, so let's see. Oh, y'all, my paper. I knew that this paper did not feel well, and I still used it. Oh, Patrice, you know better. If you know better, you do better, unless you're me. All right, I'm going to leave this on here. I may have to put this onto the shirt. And guess what I have? I have my scrunchie, so I need to put my hair back because, uh-oh. Sorry, guys, for this brief intermission of putting hair back. Thank you, Sheila. 
school teacher dress for this isn't mmm some cabbage soup sounds good. All right, let's see if this is getting on. All right, y'all, guess what? And I have to get this on here because I don't want to have to rebrush this in. This is why you should use good transfer tape. I felt that tape and I knew better, but I still put it on anyway. Let's see. It could be, it might not necessarily be the transfer tape. I forgot, y'all know how this new block does sometimes where it's hard to get it off. And I think that's more so the case. I think it's, I don't necessarily think it's the tape this time. It might just be that it's stuck on that backing. Flip it over. Let me flip that over, Tionda. Thank you, Tionda. Hi, Nikki. Six stones. Yes, Nikki. It's it's already inside of the on the website. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Tionda, you gonna go for it, girl? Let's see. Uh. I think that's what the problem is, y'all. The problem is not the the tape. The problem is actually the the what you call it the the flock that adhesive stuff is sticky. It is very sticky. So it just needs a little help coming off of the and I don't wanna have to pan place these in, y'all. I don't. But it looks like that just might be what oh my goodness. Uh -oh. I don't wanna have to hand place these in. Look. I don't know if you guys see them on here, but I'm gonna try to help these out. Uh -uh. It's not. Uh. All right, guess what we're gonna have to do? I am just going to, no, I don't want to have to do that. I hope this other side doesn't do that to me. As long as the top is fine, I'm good. So the problem is, is that my topping mat becomes super duper sticky. And so these won't even fall out because they're literally stuck onto the chopping mat. So Let's start to fill some of these in. I haven't done this in a minute and I forgot that that was a thing. I forgot that that was a thing. And when I tell you it's nice and stuck in these little crevices, it's stuck in there. I'm seeing them set. Dims has been super busy at work. Super duper busy at work. But she will watch the replay. So hey, Dimsy Boo. And she will tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> she won't. She'll be super nice. All right, let's hope that these don't, the other parts of the template, let's hope that those don't get stuck too. I just gotta place these in the appropriate areas. Like I literally have to peel these out. <sighs> Going back and stretches and kids. Yep, it's so aggravating. 
I completely forgot that that was a thing. I forgot. It's like even it's like stuck. I should just get new, um, fresh stones, but. And that's only with the new with the new flock. With the old flock, it didn't do that. This only happens with the new flock. So just note that. I would say maybe try. I don't even know what to try to to do that, like to get it not to do to do this. But there has to be a way. There has to be a way to do it right. I'm missing some uh, somewhere. I don't want to put where it doesn't belong. I can't tell either. I'm not really going to open up the file, even though I'm going to open it up and tell y'all the font. Just remind me. Looks like this one goes there. I think we're pretty good right now. And I'm sorry y'all can't see right now. I know the new flock. Oof. The hotness. Yes, Elevate Artistry. I think it's in there already. Uh, but I have to use hairpin to remove. Oh, no. I missed it because the screen popped up. Let's hope I'm not over placing rhinestones right now, which it looks like I possibly might. So this doesn't really work. If, like it's, It works, but not well if you're layering uh, a design like how I plan on layering the R right here. And it's actually a straight line. So we're gonna see if I if I put these in the correct location. I could have put this back on the template and did all that, but I don't trust the template anymore. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I think one goes right there. All right, we might be good, y'all. I'm like, I'm not looking at the chat. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. In place. All right. All right. All good. All right. No worries. Everything's fine. All is well now. Hey, Tang Yu. Good time to play on a new fog. Awesome, Nile. Has magic clock and it hasn't changed. Thank you, Sheila. Dawn was telling me too, I think. Check the V. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because I missed one. Let's see. I did do that. Three missing on the V. Oh no. <laughs> Chris, you and Jesse. You and Jesse. You and Jesse. Thank you, Chris and Jesse. Let me go ahead. We are missing. I I put them in the wrong place. The ones that go there, so I'm probably gonna have an overlapping rhinestone somewhere. But it's all good. I don't think she will mind. Uh oh. All right. Mm. 
not as crisp as I want it to be. Where's that other one? I'm trying to figure if there's, there might be one missing here. I'll put that there. There might be. If it's not, oh, oh, but if it is, all right, that might be fine for now. Thanks, y'all, for looking out for a girl in distress. Listen, my old plug, I hit it because I'm like, I'm only going to use it when I really, really need it. I actually hit it in the back somewhere. So I'm like, I don't want to use it and then need it one day. And uh, I don't want to. All right, so we're going to put this over here for now. So we're going to do the colors that we're going to use today. Um, I haven't really used these before. And definitely not in like an ombre type of design, but we're going to do Silver Crystal, which is a metalite. For those of you who may not know, um, the metalite stones have like a metallic rim around them, and the center is a crystal stone. They come in various colors, but the rims are in either silver or gold. And today we're going to be using the silver crystal, which just the first uh, part of the metalite color just lets you know what the rim color is. The center color is the second color. So the center is going to be crystal. And so this is what this stone looks like. You might not be able to really tell uh, just from this lighting what it, what it looks like, but it's actually a silver stone, like a silver, crisp, silver uh, metallic stone. You can't tell there camera light looks my camera looks bad today what is going on um and it's a crystal in the middle so we're going to use that and these stones kind of light up a lot uh especially at different angles and when light hits them these really really sparkle and so we're going to use this for the top part of the word virgo for the center and then for the bottom, we're going to use Labrador. And Labrador is a full uh, metal, it's not a metal light, it's a full metallic stone. It's still glass, but because of the color of the stone, it's uh, we call it metallic stone. And um, we're gonna use that for the bottom. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be much contrast between the two stone colors we're going to see, but I'm hoping that it is. I think that it might really, really be pretty. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. And hopefully that will work out in our favor. Now, my other brush is right here. I love this brush for my SS6 rhinestone. So anybody who has SS6 rhinestones or you prefer SS6 rhinestones like me, this brush is perfect because you don't have to worry about cross-contamination of stones. And it brushes in the SS10 really good too. I just usually tend to favor the smaller brush. Um, not sure why. I had a bad experience with the other uh, larger brushes. And so I just, after that experience with them, I just was like, yep, yeah, nope, I don't want to use bigger brushes. But as you see, this does really, really well. I think Eve has these on her website now. I think so. So check her out if you want to. Thebabiesbooty.com. These are the metal lights, y'all. These are so pretty. So, so pretty. All right. 
Hey, Juana. Hey, Lena Girl Casting. Now, you don't know what you're missing. Even though somebody's going to tell you, you're not missing anything. But you don't know what you're missing. SS6 rhinestones are just different. And with the Caesar Romeo, with it just being a lot easier to cut the templates with it, you are going to love it. I absolutely love SS6. Any machine that cuts my SS6 templates nicely is the perfect machine for me. And so my Starcraft Solo always cuts it out nicely. And the Caesar Romeo has not disappointed me either. I'm really hoping that this picks it up. I'm going to go for a new um, piece of transfer tape just because maybe it needs a little extra glue to pick it up. So we're gonna see. I gotta go back. Oh, I love Labrador. Look at you, Sheila Cushionberry. Yes, girl. SS6, you're going to be team SS6. SS6. Watch. Like me. But I make, I made this in an SS10. I don't think I made this in an SS6. I think I only did this design in SS10. Uh, Partly because I'm not going to be wearing it. I usually make anything that I'm going to make for myself in SS6. Like any design that I want to wear, I usually make that in SS6. And then sometimes I'll make it into SS10 most of the time because y'all be like, oh, is this an SS10? And so I'm not going to wear this, so I won't make this in SS6. All right. All right, Jesse and Chris, am I looking good or what? I think it looks good. Y'all, this color has to be one of my favorite colors. So I've used two of my favorite colors already. I use Black Diamond, which I think it works great uh, if you're looking for like a shadow, shadow look. And I used the Metal Light Silver Crystal, which looks beautiful. I'm going to show you guys this stone one more time. It's a metal light. So this is that. This is it up close and personal. Very, very pretty. And I have a whole lot of these. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Chris. Use SS4. Oh, LaShonda. Y'all, LaShonda said she used SS4. Whew. And flat bags. Yo, know, I've used, yeah, I've used SS4 in some of my um, Converse designs and Crocs. Yeah, it's a lot. But let me get a new piece of uh, tape because we don't want any situations. And y'all think this will be finished in like an hour? Let's. Let me get to work and stop playing. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, Sheila Cushionberry. What designers are you talking about? <laughs> oh, so, Don, so the metal lights in, it's not called, so it's still Labrador, but it's actually just called Silver whatever it's not called like lavender like the gold outlines it's just gold not orm dorado so look for any of the metal lights that that says uh, silver this silver crystal is gorgeous gorgeous all right let's see oh I had to get a new piece of tape, y'all. 
All right, so if that helped with the new piece of tape. So tape matters, y'all. Tape matters. I don't think I'll ever just really admit to that, but the tape does matter. It does. All right, so I'm going to put this over here. Let's get ready to brush in our next one. I'm not even going to move. So how do y'all think this is going to look? with the silver crystal and the Labrador, and I'm talking about trying to do an ombre. Do y'all think this is gonna be kind of pointless? Like I probably should've just did it all in silver crystal in the center, I'm starting to think that, but I'm, I'm committed to it. I've already put the stones down. There's only one way to go now, and that's for it. So let's see what's gonna happen. Now I'm second guessing this. So that it may just, mm, we'll see how it's going to look. I thought I had a good idea, but I'm not sure now. Kind of like when you're using like the solid color and then the metal light color, like the gold cyan, and then you're using like light cyan with it or cyan. Like that looks good, right? But mm, I'm not really sure. How this is gonna come out. Okay, we're SS. See, Ryan's still mechanic. Dennis has done some in SS6 too that you like. Okay. Team SS6. I love it. I love it. So Eve sells rhinestones in SS6 and SS10, and she mainly sells, or she sells hot fix rhinestones. And these are rhinestones that are applied using heat. These are the ones that you will see me use a lot. Even though I do use some flat back uh, rhinestones for other projects at times, um, but as of late, this has taken over everything that I want to do. So, and as soon as I felt a little bit better, this is what I did. This is what I had to do, come and bring with y'all. All right. I think we're with the checker glue. Oh. I think Tiana told me. Tiana, was that you who told me to flip it over? Was that you? I think. All right, guys. This is going pretty quickly. We might be finished in an hour. It seems like it takes longer for me to brush rhinestones in when I'm on live with y'all. When I'm by myself, I just brush it in and that's that. All right. Looks good. So Jesma, if you get this template, I would Definitely recommend cutting it with the backing on. I cut it with the backing on, but I didn't use a, a mat. But I would recommend cutting it with the backing on. Actually, I recommend that for most of my templates because if you put it on the cutting mat directly without the backing and you go to pull it up, sometimes you can stretch the flock and a whole will appear so you do want to be careful in doing that so i do recommend using cutting it with the back line all right so we use labrador and we use black diamond and we use silver crystal and this is the labrador 
super pretty. Thank you, Chris. Hey, unbiased. Thanks, Alina. All right, so we have, uh-oh, got one out. Let me put that here. And then we're going to use Rose and Rose AB for the next part of the design. Now, the way the design is, you don't have to break it up into so many different um, parts like I did. You can actually cut um, part of it together, like it's, and then the, the shadow layer, you can cut that out together without moving it. I just kind of cut it in pieces. <laughs> okay, let's go down. All right. All right, y'all, we're making progress. We only have three more parts to brush in and not three major parts. So that is awesome. So I went, I chose to use Rose and Rose AB. Uh-oh, let's try to get that one. There it goes, there it goes. Rose and Rose AB. But now I'm thinking, does Katrina seem like a Rose and Rose A B girl, y'all? I don't know. I think she will like it. I think she will like Rose and Rose A B. We're gonna go with Rose and Rose A B. All right. So the word thing, we're gonna do that in actually we're gonna do thing in rose and But we'll do it's A and the exclamation point in rows A, B. Hopefully that will look good. Hopefully. Kathy, this one is in SS6, SS10 though. I didn't even make it in SS6. And the holes are close, y'all. Let's brush in our rose, and this is rose. And for those of you who may not know, usually the rose or the pink colors are a little more expensive than some of the other uh, colors. The so rose is pretty. I think rose is my favorite uh, pink. More so than light rose, a fuchsia, rose is my favorite. So in the chat, since we're talking buy-in and it's happening soon, tell us some of your favorite colors, your favorite stone colors. Can anybody share with us what colors are your favorite? Like what colors you have to have in your inventory? For me, y'all know I have to have Black Diamond. I have to have Labrador. I have to, oh, I have to have Orm Dorado. Um, I have to have Capri, Sapphire. Uh, what other colors? So I have to have Rose and Rose AB. And I have to have Light Cyan. I'm not really a big Cyan. Fan, but light cyan, I love absolutely love light cyan. AB and those are usually my go to colors. For mostly everything, I love those colors. I kind of feel like if I have like the solid color, I also want the AB color as well. So if you're uh, looking for rhinestones and you're looking for specific colors, uh, let's say you're looking for a blue or sapphire, or you're looking for a uh, red, cyan, or 
uh, candy apple. Be careful when you're selecting the AB version of the colors because it's not going to give you the solid color that you want. The AB color um, has a multitude of uh, colors in that one stone. So just be careful. So Crafty said rose gold, any AB and sun. Anita said sapphire, Labrador, icicles. Oh, I love icicles too. Fist of Volcano, those are her favorites. Nice. J Bear loves. Marilyn, have you given us your favorite colors? LaShonda said light cyan, sapphire, coffee. LaShonda, I forgot about coffee. I love coffee too. I love coffee. Um, Crystal, Crystal, girl. But Crystal, that's, I think Crystal, especially if you're just uh, starting to blink or if you're not really sure, you know, who your customers are going to be, what designs you're going to be making, Crystal is the safest color to, to have. Um, so Crystal is definitely not one of my favorites, but as far as like having it in your inventory and like a, a stone color that you need to have, I would definitely say Crystal too. Sheila Cushion, Mary, all of them. <laughs> Elena, tell me about it. Capri is absolute love. Like, I love Capri. Love, love, love Capri. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. All right, let's see who else said what. So, Mar hey, Marianne, Marianne said, Light Siam, Volcano, and Flame. Love those two. Love those two. Okay, J Bear said that J Bear likes Violet. Oh, J Bear, Violet Volcano. I forgot. It's, Violet Volcano isn't one of my all like favorite favorites, but I do like Violet Volcano. I like it. It's a different type of um, stone color because you get so many different shades of purple. But I do. I like it. Uh, looking for a good single color, purple and a black. Purple and a black. Well, jet black. Oh, y'all, I forgot to say, I, like, I love jet black too. <laughs> I love jet black. Barb says topaz, coffee, and oh, Barb, how did I forget about olivine? Y'all, I love olivine. I love, love, love olivine. Definitely my favorite green, even though, you know, I, 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 it's my favorite green. Definitely my favorite green. And it's perfect, like, for this season. It's perfect for any season, honestly. But it's, it's definitely a good fall color, too. At least I think so. At least I think so. But definitely love that. Hyacinth AB. JB, Hyacinth AB is very, very pretty. Um, so for those who don't know, Hyacinth is the orange color. And then Hyacinth AB reflects so many different shades. It even has like a little pink in it. Um, it has the orange underbase to it. But with any AB stone, you're going to get, with well, almost all AB stones. Now, Citrine AB doesn't really give you that many colors. It's going to give you Citrine. But that's about all it's going to give you. But it'll give you like a fairy, fairyish version of citrine, like very pretty, very light. It's a lot lighter than actual citrine. So that's um, that's the difference with citrine. Uh, after using candy apple. <laughs> Marilyn, candy apple is gorgeous, gorgeous. That's why Delanda was going all crazy over her candy apple. Candy apple is is gorgeous. It's not so. There's three different reds that you could get. You could do cyan, which is a darker. Um, it's a darker red. I usually kind of use it for maroon, and uh. But it's darker. So I usually use it for maroon for my school colors, maroon and gold. But you could use it for red. It's darker. And then there's light 
cyan. So there's cyan and then there's light cyan. The light cyan is a little brighter uh, than cyan. And then you have candy apple red. Now, I used to think light cyan was it for the red. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Candy apple is so pretty. It's a very, very pretty red. I think it's more vibrant than light cyan. Like super, super pretty. So those are the three reds. And of course you have uh, light cyan AB. Put the outline around the word page. That's it. I didn't. All right, we're going to place those in manually. Nobody has time for that. Nobody has time for that. All right, y'all. Give me a minute. I'm going to push those in and get some extra ones out of the way. I'm going to check and see what Chris and Jesse can see extra. It might be in good shape. Right, who else? The blue flame. So Foxy Brown said blue flame. Blue flame is very nice. Blue flame is nice. I do like all the metal lights, but I have to say, like SS6 is my is my size, but I think I prefer metal lights than SS10. I know I've said it before. I mean, I can use SS6 metal lights. I think I prefer the SS10 metal lights. I think that's not possible. All right, let's see if we got all of the stones out. No, Don, I don't really, so I'll use the mixes every now and then, but the mixes really aren't my thing either. Um, but I'll use mixes, you know, I'll use them but they're really not my my thing. I like like the colors like this and I'm I definitely don't like mixing my own stones. So if Eve mixes her stones and she sells them, I'm good with that. But I don't necessarily like mixing my own stones. <laughs> no matter how little of a portion I get, like I I've, I've been trying to I don't know if y'all saw that last video I did with um the Caesar Romeo where I was unboxing it. And I'm just like trying to use up all that last little bit in that container that I mixed because I need that container to be clear because I don't want to see the mixed stones. It's so weird. Am I the only one like that? Like I like them, but I don't have, so I like the fact that Eve sells them in small increments in the 20 gross packages because I think that's like, I can take that. I can't take a big chunk of them. I can only take them in small doses. Let me know if I'm the only one like that. Kind of weird. I know. I'm sorry. Ton you likes rose gold. I love rose gold too. Not one of my favorites, but I do like rose gold. So shout out for rainbow. So Gail likes rainbow. Rain I have rainbow and I never use rainbow. Like rarely ever use it. Champagne. Oh, champagne. I forgot about champagne, telling you. And the champagne AB. I love champagne AB. Tanzanite and all the pinks and crystal AB. All the oh, ton you uh, crystal AB. I love crystal AB too. I forgot about crystal AB. So that's another one that I have to have. Like I have to have that more than I have crystal. Um, but I think crystal, especially like if you have a business and you're doing rhinestones. And you want to keep the price down. And some people just want bling. They don't really care about like all the different colors that we use. Crystal. Because it is one of the more economical of the stones. And, you know, for business, it can go a little bit longer. But Crystal AB. Whew. Crystal AB can change any design up. Love Crystal AB. Yep, I 
I know that ocean. No, the ocean sea mix. That was one of my favorites. The ocean sea mix is one of my favorites. I have a few of those. I have a few mixes. That ocean, that blue ocean or sea, it was something. It's so pretty. I'm going to show you guys. Let me finish this and then we'll have, it looks like we'll, we're going to have a little time so I can kind of, we can look at some of that. And I need to remember, please remind me to check to see which font I use for that because I don't remember. And I don't. I was thinking of Space Story, but I don't think it's Space Story anymore. Okay. So I'll do with this one. And okay, let's see what I missed. The Mardi Gras mix. <laughs> Candy, everybody loves candy apple. Hey, Tisha, welcome in. Yeah. <laughs> Sheila, so everybody just might as well say just all of them, just all the colors. I listed less than 10. Can you guys believe that? I listed less than 10 colors that I like. Now, I agree with some people about colors, but I kind of have a bad reputation for loving all the colors, which I do love them all, but there are some that are my favorite, some that I'm always out of. Like Orm Dorado, I'm always like having the bare minimum of Orm Dorado, Black Diamond. I don't show it often on when we're doing lives as much as I used to because we have so many different colors, but y'all, I use some black diamond up all the time. Um, Crystal AB, that's my color. What other colors? I think, oh, John Cole. John, okay, John Cole AB, I like John Cole. But Jonquil AB is a color that I need. I love that color for like my outline color to highlight um, the text. I love Jonquil AB. So that's one that I would definitely say should be on a list. Jonquil AB. All right. I'm so far behind. Y'all probably like, girl, you so far. I'm going to scroll down. What color is Sang? So this is, Sang is going to be, uh, or it is Rose. Now we're using Rose AB, which is the AB version of Rose. Uh-oh, Jesse, I hope I got that extra in out, that extra stone in. in. I am going down. <laughs> Sheila, don't do me like that, girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, is there a color that I don't like? I'm going to have to think really, really hard on that and look in my collection. So we're going to go with what is my least favorite color, because I don't know if there's a color that I don't like, but what's my least favorite color? Like what color? Um, huh. I don't really care for emeralds unless I'm using it around Christmas time. And but I love emerald AB. So emerald is a color that I'm probably not, you know, I'm not going to pull that out. In fact, that's usually the color that when I, I do want to use it, I don't have it because I just don't um, use much emerald. And because I don't use much of it, I usually don't buy a lot of it. And I think I purchased some emerald, like a 20 gram uh, container of emerald. 
So emerald, possibly. I don't, I use cyan, but I don't care for cyan. Um, I use it for when I, like if I'm making a shirt, like a school shirt for us. But other than that, I'm not using cyan. Um, so those are two colors, emerald and cyan. I'm going to see if there's any other colors. I got to think about it, though, that I don't care for. Are my least favorite. Um, kind of like others, like I love the AB colors. I love the AB colors. The train AB is nice, but I think probably if I had to pick my least favorite AB color, it would be. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Of course, I love all the AB colors. Never mind. I don't really have a least favorite um, one. But the one that I think that's not like it's more a softer um, AB is definitely the, it's definitely Citrine AB. I don't think if there's any other that I could kind of do without. So I can do without cyan until I need it. Um, I can do without emerald until I need it. And I'm trying to think, I got. I'm gonna do the exclamation mark in rose AB too, but I just want to put this on here. Um, what else, y'all? What am I missing? Um, so most of you guys know how I feel about crystal. Um, not really my favorite one. Um, it's definitely not on my favorite list, but it is one that I cannot do without, even though it's not one of my favorite colors. And I think that's it, y'all. I think I think that's all. Cause the rest. That's like perfect. Um yeah, there's no more that I don't really care. L Nicole. Thank you for being a member on our channel. Thank you. Anita, I have. I've tried the venture. I've tried cutting SS6 on the venture and I actually had a good good outcome with it. I can't remember the settings. It might be in that video. It's in one of the videos, I think, when I showed it, or maybe that next day when we were talking about it. But it was like light card stock or something like that. The setting that I used for it. It cut it cut fine. The only thing is is that it took forever. Like it was not quick at all. It kept doing like this thing where it goes four, four circles and then it stops and then it cuts four more circles and then it stops. So I don't know. I said so that I could be fair about it. I said that I was just going to hook it up to the USB and see if that will work better with the with Romeo. I haven't. I I only used the the Wi-Fi to cut with Romeo. I haven't had or the Bluetooth. I haven't had any issues with cutting uh, with Romeo. I usually use my USB when I cut with the Solo, but with Romeo, I haven't used the USB, and it has cut beautifully. Now, I think I'm going to have like a showdown of the Romeo and the Solo and see which one wins my heart. But... I think they're going to be pretty much the same. I think they're both of them are they're alike, honestly, in a lot of ways. So it might just be the same type of cutter, just a diff different shell. And of course, Romeo, you can cut a lot wider than you can uh, with the Solo. The Solo is a 16 inch cutter and Romeo is a 24 inch cutter. So that's the, 
another difference between the two. What's the difference? Yeah, oh, let me scroll down. <laughs> Elena loves Black Diamond. Me too, Elena. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm scrolling down. Just use less. True, Elena, just use the list. Hey, Monica, welcome in. Hey, Tana. All right, y'all, I'm scrolling down because y'all know I'm far. I'm always far behind. All right, this is our last section that we need to brush in. And then we are going to head over to the heat press. I think she's still there. Yep, she's still there. And press our shirt. We're only doing this one shirt today because I said I was not going to be on long. I'm going to go try to get some more rest. So I want to kind of come on early because I'm going to try to come on tomorrow night. I'm going to see how I feel um, when I leave. Well, tomorrow night. And hopefully I'll be okay. If not, I'm going to see you guys later all right we got one more and that's it move that out the way all right y'all that rose ab is so pretty rose ab is one of my favorites hush sheila <laughs> rose ab is one of my favorites it's so pretty so pretty Hey, Sin. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Mary G. Here you get my brush. So uh, both of these brushes came from the baby's booty. Um, I've gotten brushes from, I don't see my other one, from uh, Amazon. I've gotten brushes from... Uh, heat transfer warehouse similar to this that's red and also home depot like this now this part you can change it out when it gets worn down and then this brush i love this brush uh, with my ss6 rhinestones the stones don't get caught there but these came from the babiesbooty.com sheila uh, i don't know if it's on um if it's on the hot fix site or if it's on the buy-in site i'm not sure of that that's the only thing I'm not sure of. All right. All right, guys. We're going to get ready to press us a shirt. We're going to be doing a black shirt. I'm going to go. Oh, my goodness. Did anybody remind me to turn on the heat press? I hope I turned it on. Let's go. So we're going to be pressing this onto a black shirt. Because I love black shirts with rhinestones, and I think Katrina's gonna love this black shirt with her bling. Let's hope this pink is a nice pop of color on this shirt. All right, let me go ahead. I'm gonna go head over to the heat press, lint roll. Look at this. Yo, look at that color in there. It's so pretty, so pretty. All right, so I'm done with this one. Let me get me a stick first. Thank you, Gail. So Gail said that you can find those brushes on the Hot Fix uh, site. Okay, it's listed below Hot Fix Fix dot store. It's listed at the bottom in the description. All right, let me. I'm gonna add. So we're gonna, so we're gonna add, add both. both to the table. Let me know if you guys can hear me well because y'all know I'm kind of in my situation and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to turn this down. So even if you're pressing your shirts at 350 degrees, that's what her rhinestones 
or the lot to say in the instructions, and to press it for 12 seconds. All right, so I'm going to actually follow uh, instructions today. All right, so, so let, let me know if you guys can hear me. me. I'm going to come, come over and see if you guys can hear me because the other day I was watching the video a replay and, and I was over here at the press and y'all couldn't hear me. That's really why I got, got, got the, 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 the mic. I got the mic. So I was like, please try to get my mic, especially if you're not going to be in front of the one mic. So I just want to see if y'all can hear me or not. Right. So, I so I just want to give it a pre press, press lip roll pre press, press, and we're going to get ready to do this. Oh, oh, it's an echo. echo. Oh, oh, no. I know why I think. Let me see. Hold on. I went over by the other thing. Hold on. All right. Is it still an echo? I'm gonna go back over there and let me know if it's an echo. Can you guys hear echo now? Let me know. <laughs> Sorry guys for the echo. See, this is what I get, I get for being, trying to be fancy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Thanks, guys. So here we have it. And thanks, guys. I'm trying to, because I, I had the other, the mic was still on over on the other side. That's what happened. I never turned it off. I was surprised y'all didn't hear it. Oh, you know why? Because I just added it to the screen. That's why. All right. So I just need to make sure that that is going to be, we're going to do it about right there. Oh, good to go. Good, 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 good. All right, y'all. Perfect. All right. So we're going to get ready to press this and head back over there to the machine. All right, so again, I'm pressing this 350 degrees. I have it set at 15 seconds, but you can do even instructions say 12 seconds, but I'm pressing it for 15 seconds, just a little longer, not much. All right, let's head over here to our table and we're gonna get ready to remove that. Oh that's looking pretty good. Where's my backing? All right, you all know we struggled with this one a little bit with that the holes not lining up the way that it should, but it still looks okay. So we're gonna actually start with layering this from the bottom um, because, because I have that extra piece at the top, I want to make sure that this, oh, this should be fine. It's going to go in fine, even if I start at the top. I usually have that issue with the SS6, but this is going to be fine. We can start at the top. It does, Gail. Thank you. Even without the um the fill. All right, we're gonna see how this is gonna look. Let's see. Do y'all think I'm gonna regret this color combination or what? I'm hoping I don't. If I regret it, I will just make a new one. But hopefully. It's going to look good, and I think she will like it. Let's see how this is going to look. All right. 
So each section, I'm just pressing it for the 15 seconds. Kevin, how have you been? <laughs> Capricorn might give me a hard time. That's a long word. I'm going to have to see if Capricorn might get a whole different design set up. Anybody who has. All right. I'm trying to see if I like it. I'm trying to, trying to feel around, see how I feel about it. We're going to see it. We're going to see soon. <sighs> Not thrilled yet, but hopefully I will be. Guys have been okay. Awesome, Kevin. <laughs> yes, Greg, you're absolutely correct. Libra is next. You're absolutely correct. All right, y'all. So I like to match it up to where like the lines um, are lined up pretty good. I don't like for it to be like uneven. So like I like, I don't know if you guys can tell like how that line goes straight down. I like to make sure, and that's kind of how I'm able to line it up and not have, you know, look wobbly or like where there's not like a break. Because sometimes if you line it up um, incorrectly, you can see like the break in the word. And I try to avoid that. So that just means like shifting and making sure that it's good. Right now, it's going to be great for us. Oh, ooh, yo. Okay, I put this down. You know, I wasn't convinced at the table, but I'm a little convinced now. Wait till y'all see this. That color looks pretty okay together. I got to see it without the masking on it. But okay, so far. Oh, oh, Sagittarius, Simps is not going to let me live that down. Hey, D. Smith. Oof. Y'all, this looks good. I wasn't even going to cut this out. So I was like, oh, it's Katrina's birthday. Oh, y'all. Mm. Mm. Wait until you guys see this. Like, you, this, you can't really see it good on this camera. Wait until y'all see this. Remove from the heat press for layering. So, Twilight, I like to remove it from the heat press for layering only, yeah, because I don't, I'm not underneath the press. And sometimes when I put the hot fix rhinestones on the shirt and it's on the press, like when I just put the transfer on there, sometimes it'll loosen up a little bit. And so the rhinestones might fall off. So, I usually like to do all of that away from the press. Um, to avoid that, and I can kind of make sure it's centered and aligned how I want it to be. That's why. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go right here. So maybe this pop of pink. I like the pop of pink now. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it looks like I'm going to like it. All right. So that T, I just have to lift this up. And there we go. All right. So maybe I could, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the T, and then we're also going to do the exclamation point. And the reason why I'm putting the exclamation point on first is so that way I'll know how to line up the word thing because if I put it over too much and I don't have the exclamation point, the exclamation point won't be able to fit where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to give it a little bit of space right there. All right. All right so that's going to be good. And then we'll have one more. Not yet. Not yet, Sheila. I'm going to go into the software and give me two seconds. Oh, y'all, this is gorgeous. 
gorgeous. All right. All right. I'll go. I gotta open up Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna open up while we're here. Can't wait for y'all to see this. This looks good. Okay, let's see. Oof. So I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to do an extra special Libra shirt because my grandma's always telling me that I need to make her the shirt for her birthday and she's a Libra, so she's gonna love that. I'll probably make an extra special one for Libras. That's my grandma. Y'all, this looks great. Oof. I don't even see that exclamation point. All right, so that's I, I'm gonna show you guys why I did the exclamation point first before I put the word dang. Just to make sure this is our last press. Believe it or not, this is ombre. You can't really tell because I had the great idea to do a um, to use Labrador and a silver crystal metal light. All right, so that's perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press that. Oh, y'all, this is super, super, super pretty. Super, super, super pretty. Wow. I really like it. Okay, let's see if I can open that up real quick. I'll open Open recent. Uh, Virgo. Couldn't open it up that quick. Give me a second. I'm going to show the shirt and then we'll open it, y'all. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so good. My designs wouldn't be anything without the baby's booties, rhinestones, y'all. They wouldn't be anything. Look at this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the font. Look at that, y'all. So the colors I used. This is rose AB for the outline. This is Black Diamond. You guys can't tell it right now, but wait until I hold this up. This is Black Diamond. The top part of the word Virgo is a uh, silver crystal metal light. The bottom portion is Labrador. And the word Thang, this is Rose. And this is Rose AB. So I'm going to switch it over. Y'all know I got to switch that camera up. Gotta, I'm going to remove the table too because... And we're going to get ready. Let me remove that. Settings. All right. Let's see which we're going to look like. Yo, look at. Ah. Yo, look at this. Look. So the crystal with this Labrador, this silver crystal with the Labrador, y'all, like, it's just insane. I should have used another color at the bottom, but I wanted to use the silver crystal with the Labrador. So that top is silver crystal. Y'all, that is insane. Look at that black diamond. So the Labrador and the black diamond is really playing off of each other. It is really playing off of each other. Look at the rose in here. Like, it is amazing. Amazing. So I love the rose AB and the rose and how, you know, that helped to add a little pop of color to the shirt. But look at that shadow in the back in the black diamond. I can't even tell where the silver crystal ends and where the Labrador begins. and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to tell. Um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful uh, still, no matter what. But it looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. And this is SS10. This is SS10. 
All right, so I got to mail this off to Katrina because it's her birthday. All right, let me put this up and come back over here to y'all. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for making this shirt with me today because I miss y'all terribly. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Let me look for the font. Um, give me two seconds, y'all. Uh, which open, 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 open. Okay, let me go to my library. It might be in my library because I don't remember. I never remember fonts offhand because. I'm always um, doing something. I'm always using different fonts. Ooh. All right, it's opening up. But don't forget, y'all, the buying is going on now. Danny, it's the, um, it's that. Silver crystal, the silver crystal metal lights, they are insane. Like the bling is intense on the silver crystal. Thank you, Sheila. Sheila Stone, I did. I really, really did. Okay, let's see. It should be up now. Oh, it's taking a while to open may not open there it is okay so the word virgo is space story so it was space story so virgo virgo is a, a, a font called space story and i'm pretty sure that i got that from off of um creative fabrica so it's called space story um on creative fabrica uh let's see what else and then the word thang is fries and shakes. So the word thang is a font called fries and shakes, which I love that font. Fries and shakes. And also the exclamation point should be fries and shakes too. And then the top is uh, high fidelity. It's a, a single line font, but it's a tricky single line font. Um, because it's super, super thin. So when you try to create an offset of it, it's kind of difficult to create an offset um, around it. You have to duplicate it and then uh, create like a, some strokes um, around it. Thanks, y'all. Yes, thank you, Marsha. Please remember to click the thumbs up button. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hey, Lisa Wells. Hey, thanks for jumping on to say, hey, I know how it is when you're watching from the TV because when I'm watching from the TV, you can't comment. Like I can see the chat on my TV. You just have to click the chat button, but you can't comment. So it's kind of hard um, to interact from the TV, but thank you. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody who took out time on this Labor Day to hang out with me. I know this was like an impromptu uh, live, but I do appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. Please make sure you check out the baby's booty. Check out her website. The buy-in is going on now, and that is so that you can buy rhinestones in bulk if that's what you're into. If you don't want to buy so many rhinestones or if you're just testing out the waters, she has her Buy Now site where you can go and you can test it out and see how you like the stones if it's something that you really want to get into because um, once you get into it, it's kind of addictive. Ask Marilyn. She knows. She knows. She, she has it bad. She has it really, really bad. And, you know, I haven't been able to support her lately and I feel horrible about it. I feel absolutely horrible about it. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Does anybody have any more questions, concerns, or anything? Please let me know before I head to taking a nap. Because I'm about to go take a nap. I'm exhausted after this. 
Really, you're not. You're not. Stop saying that, Marilyn. Stop saying that denial is the first step. Stop saying that. I'm telling you, she really is. She really, really is. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And hopefully I'll get a chance to hang out with you guys tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Um, I'm really trying to feel at least 90% um, by Wednesday. So I'm trying to take it a little bit light and easy. But I love you guys. And until next time, y'all.